Hi there, my name's Andy Hillier, and today's guitar lesson is gonna be on Look At Us Now, in brackets, Honeycomb, from uh, Daisy Jones and the Six. It's a beautiful little song, it's a really easy song to play, and I'm gonna teach you the whole song. But just before I do, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, press the notifications, and I'd love to hear from you, so please leave me some comments in the comment section, including what songs I should do next. Um, I'm also gonna do The River next from uh, Daisy Jones and The Six, so check that out. I'll leave a link in the description and a card above. Um, and if you love what I'm doing, you wanna support me, support the channel, and you wanna print the tabs off for this, then I'll put them on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. My guitar is in standard tuning. Okay, so the intro and the verse sounds like this. So this is probably the hardest bit to play because we're doing a bit of finger picking, but it's not too bad. Okay, so it starts with a C chord. First finger on B1, second finger on D2, third finger A3. So you hold down the C chord and you're gonna play the A3, then the G, then the D2, and then the B1. So the first four hits go. Then open G again, then D2. So up to that point, you've got. And then a quick hammer on from fret three on the B string to fret five. So you play fret three and hammer on to fret five. You could do it as a slide. It sounds really nice, um, but on the record, he's doing it as a hammer on. Okay, so the first bar goes. Slowly, that'll be up to speed. Into bar two, and we've got. So for that, you play the open E, then open G, D2, and then G2, back to D2, and then G2, slide up to G4. So bar two slowly. Into up speed. Into the next bar, bar number three, we've got. For that, put your second finger on E3 nearest to your face and first finger on G2. So you play them at the same time and then you're gonna hammer on. I like to use my little finger to hammer on, but you might prefer to use your third finger to hammer on to G4. So you play the E3 and the G2 at the same time, hammer on to G4, then open D, then G2, open G, open D, then B3. So you got. And then we're going to play G2. Another G2, pull off to the open G, play the D string, and then the G2. So you go. So the whole of bar three goes. And then you hold that note into the next bar. The note in the bracket you don't play, it's just held on. And then play the open G, open D, then B3, then D then G2. So. so if we put bars three and four together, you get. So the whole line slowly. Sweet. So that repeats around the intro and the verse. 
all the verses. Uh, and then we get a bridge, which goes like this. So for that A minor chord, first finger B1, second finger D2, third finger A3, playing from the A string downwards. And then just move your third finger to A3 and we've got that C chord again. So two beats on each, two, three, four. Then we've got a G chord, third finger E3, second finger E3 nearest to your face, first finger A2, that lasts for the whole bar. Then we've got A minor for two beats, C for two beats, and then E minor, which is just A2 and D2, playing all the strings that last for four um, beats. So without any rhythm, you get this. Two, four, two, three, four. But you could put a bit of rhythm in, uh, sort of add it a bit more, goes. Um, so I've just kind of add in, like, hitting each uh, beat really. So two hits on the A minor, two hits on the C, uh, four hits on the G, two hits on the A minor. Um, two hits on the C, and then I just one hit on the E minor, letting it ring out for the whole bar. And then you get to the chorus, which feels a little bit confusing, just where they've placed the chords. But actually, when you realize what's happening, then it's relatively easy. It sounds like this. Okay, without the vocal, it actually doesn't sound too strange, but when you put the vocal in, because it, it's sort of bringing it in in different places, it feels weird. So you've got the C chord, and it jumps to E minor. So the C chord lasts for three quarters of a beat, and then it goes to E minor, which just feels like it goes just before beat two. So it's one, two, three. And then on beat four, you're gonna hit a G chord. So you've got this one, two, three, four. And it just does that three times in the chorus. So you've got C, minor, G, C, E minor, G, C, E minor, G. And hit those E minors with an upstroke um, and the uh, C's and the G's with the downstroke. So it's and that's the chorus, so that just repeats around three times. It then goes, jumps straight back at the end of that bar after that G chord into the verse. Um, and then we get the second bridge, which is slightly different to the first bridge. And it goes like this. So to play that, A minor to C, E minor to G, A minor, C, and then just E minor. So let's just play that bridge. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. That takes us to the second chorus, which is exactly the same as the first chorus, apart from you play um, each bar four times rather than three um, times and then it repeats and plays it the first three times and then it will go on to the next line. So basically, we can play this whole line um, and repeat it up to bar 18. So you're not gonna play bar 19, instead you'll jump to the next line. Let's just play this line once through. So C, E minor, G, doing that four times. Here we go, one, two, three, four. <laughs> It then repeats, and we're gonna play bars 16, 17, and 18, but don't play bar 19, so just play the first three bars. Here we go, one, and. <laughs> it 
It then goes on to the next line. So after that G chord, uh, it goes on the next line and we've got this. Which is just playing A minor C, E minor G in quite quick succession. So it goes. Do a downstroke on the A minor and then upstrokes on all the others. So. And it just does that three times um, before it goes into like the solo middle eight section. So let's just play that line here once. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then we go to the solo or the middle eight section, which just keeps repeating around for ages. Um, and it's just playing those same chords, A minor, C, E minor, G, but the speed is different, it got this. So it's kind of like the um, bridge two um, that we played previous. So hopefully that makes sense, that repeats and keeps repeating. Um, until we get to uh, the bit that they're singing, how did we get here, which is slightly different. We've got this. So for that, we've got a G, and then a C over G, which is your first finger B1, second finger on D2, and third finger on E3, but touch the A string so it doesn't ring when you play down. Then E minor, and then the first time around it plays this C7 chord, which is your first finger on B1, second finger D2, third finger A3, so a C chord, but add your little finger onto G3, and play the middle four strings, and that's C7. So that goes this. It then carries on and plays the same chords, but instead of playing a C7, it plays just a normal C chord, and that just keeps repeating um, until it then goes to the chorus um, and keeps repeating the chorus till the end of the song. Uh, let's just play bars 29, 30, 31, and 32. So you got. It keeps repeating uh, those four bars and then goes to the chorus till the end and that's the whole song. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed that little guitar lesson. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, it really does help me out, as does giving me the thumbs up, the like button on the video. And I love to hear from you, so please leave me some comments in the comment section. Let me know where in the world you're from, what you think of the show, um, and more importantly, what songs I should do next. And if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me, support the channel, keep me going, and you want to print the tabs off of this, then I'll put them on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Well, thanks for watching this. I do appreciate it. I've been Andy Hillier, and I'll see you next time.